Okian. This story was told to me by my mother, so the rest of the story will be told in her words. We had just built a new family house and moved into it. Me, Mama, Babushka and Dedushka. A peculiar lady lived next door. She was in her late 70s and she always wore black. She was constantly whispering to herself under her breath. One day she approached my mum and said that we wouldn't be happy in the house. As weird as it was, Mum just ignored the random comment and chalked it up to her being an old lady. About three months later, my babushka became incredibly ill. Her arms and legs began to swell severely, and the doctors couldn't confirm a diagnosis or work out what was wrong. Every day, the old woman from next door would stand in her yard, in front of her fence and looking into our yard, but we paid her no mind. She wasn't really doing anything and we were all so busy with our own lives that we didn't really care. A month passed when a fortune teller came to our village. Babushka decided to go check her out, mainly out of curiosity, but mainly out of desperation too from being so poorly. Babushka sat opposite the fortune teller, dressed in a long purple gown with jingling bangles on her wrists. The teller grabbed her hand and immediately said, A witch lives next to you, and she wishes you... Harm, she is dangerous, and you are in danger. When you return home, check under the fence in your yard that borders the witch's yard. You have a knife somewhere, you need to find it and break it. Babushka came home and told Dedushka, and he broke all the concrete, dug everything, and found a knife blade. No one knows how it got there. Surely it couldn't be just a coincidence. After that, the so-called witch continued to look out of her yard over hours. For a while, the swelling stopped, but then the old lady began to come around when there were no adults home. This one time she gave me an apple, then she put a wreath on my head. I didn't think anything of it because I hadn't known about the fortune teller, I just thought it was a lonely old lady off her rocker. But after the visit I started to get very sick and I was sent to live with my aunt. Whilst at my aunt's house, her neighbour, a kind old lady, came in one day and asked me to help her catch some chickens. So I got up and I helped her and then afterwards She invited me to come in for some tea and a rest. My aunt allowed me to go because this neighbour was a family friend and everyone always spoke only good things about her. So, we go to her house and in her house are all sorts of herbs. They smell really nice, some of them. She poured tea for me and then said, The sun has been lovely today, but you look so ill still. Here, you drink your tea while I try and do something. She got up and lit a long tapered candle. Immediately, the smoke from the candle went straight to black. The kind old lady suddenly looked shocked, and beads of sweat began to instantly appear across her forehead. She looked at me and said, What kind of creature could do such a cruel thing to you? Oh my, tell your aunt to call your mother and warn your mother that a witch will come today, and if she asks for something, do not give her anything under any circumstances. And then tell her she needs to sweep the whole yard, take a ball of yarn, and together with the dust gathered from sweeping, throw it into the old witch's yard next door. So my mum did just that. Shortly after I returned home from my aunt's, the creepy witch neighbour came to ask if she could borrow some kerosene, and my mum kindly refused, so she left. Later that evening, we all looked out the bedroom window to see the old weird lady and she began to run around her yard, back and forth, muttering and screaming to herself. We saw on the ground wispy grey threads, and realised she was tearing her hair out. This went on for a few minutes until she ran into her bathhouse. We didn't see her for the rest of the night, but we could hear her squealing and making an assortment of weird, disturbing noises. It was really scary. After that night, our lives went on as normal. I wasn't ill anymore, and Babushka healed up perfectly fine too. We didn't experience anything else from the witch, but she actually died shortly after the crazy night in the garden.